Okay, refocused. Right, open the folder. And we're going to start with... Dead or alive. Dimensions. Yes, that. Demo. Now, this is a fighting game. I've never really been into Dead or Alive, to be honest, but this actually isn't a bad demo at all. And yes, there's me. Hello, nice to see you. Thanks for coming out. And there's my Nikon camera. Lovely. And now, of course, the one thing with the 3DS is you can use the 3D, but it's just looking weird to you on camera. And because the camera is directly in front of my line of vision, it just looks weird to me in real life. So I'll switch that off. Start. One thing I like about this demo, this en um, menu screen, is that when this scrolls around, look, I can move the 3DS around, and it's as if I'm actually here. That's quite clever, actually. I've just noticed a slight flaw. Well, two slight flaws. One is that the colour is massively out, and two is that there's my reflection in it. Give me a minute to sort this out. That's got it. Right, anyway, yes, yeah, so this is Dead or Alive Dimensions, which I will ignore this. Oh, we can't because it's a stupid thing that you have to see. Basically, basically uh, things have happened and these two women fight on a bridge, probably. I'll turn that down slightly. And the only thing I don't like about this demo is it insists that you go through this whole routine of showing you, you know, you press this button to do this, and then you press that button to kick her in the head before you can do the fight, which I find slightly annoying. The health bar on the right is the enemy, the health bar on the left is me, and basically she sends, she waits a few seconds, the enemy, before hitting you, which means I've basically got a few seconds to beat the ever-loving crap out of her before she responds. So it's an incredibly easy fight. Watch this, look, kick to the head. I've won within seconds. Yes, as demonstrated, winner. Yeah, so that's quite a fine demo, this, actually. It's a very fun uh, little game. And I have to say, if I could be bothered, I would probably buy the full game. But, so, Dead or Alive Dimensions is actually a very good demo, at the very least. Right, this is the only thing I don't like about 3DS games. They take a while to load, even when they're just a demo. Ah, oh. we may have a problem in that I haven't focused the thing properly. Give me a second. Right, there we go. Um, this one you don't need the stylus for, you press the R button to shoot things. Oh, I'm Wario, very nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the demo to this game is that it chooses which character you play as. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now to see if I can do very well at this. Basically, you get as close to the centre as you possibly can. And if you're extremely good like me, you get lots of points. Oh. Not very ably demonstrated by the fact that I came second there. Anyway, um... Yes, this is, again, like Dead or Alive, an excellent demo. In fact, if I hadn't played the demo, I wouldn't have given an absolute monkeys about this game. But now, having played the demo, I may eventually try and get the full game. It's very good, actually. Ready. Now, when the speed is up, you just have to press it out of sheer luck. Most of the time, you don't get very many points, and some of the time, you do actually not get any at all, as ably demonstrated by yours truly. By the fact, I have 70 points, and everyone else has over 100. But no matter. Because now there's game two, which is football. You basically have to um, aim the cursor of the way you want to kick, and the ball will fly towards you, and you need to try and get it past the goalie. So, watch this. I have to move the circle pad. This is going to go badly. Oh. Yeah, that's what happens when I try to play through the camera's delayed LCD screen. It goes wrong. I'm going to play in real life because this isn't working. Goal! Yes, baby, I scored something or something. Yes! 
You see, this is why you shouldn't play games through a camera. Despite my first two muck-ups thanks to the camera, I may have won that one. Yay. Anyway, uh, the third challenge with this is, if I remember correctly, um, yes, it's trampolining. Basically, you time the button as soon as, and you move with the mighty circle pad here. And this appears to be, I believe, what, the one they call Silver from Sonic the Hedgehog. Sorry, I'm not very really up on the recent Sonic games. And if you get a perfect, you get more points. It's quite hard to get this one correct, actually. I mean, people will probably comment saying that they can get this right easily. I'm just not very good with this sort of game. Particularly when it's the sort of one that works well on the Wii and they've just ported to the DS for the sake of porting it to the DS. But regardless, it's still pretty fun to try and time your um, runs excellently like I'm failing to do right now. But the trampling seems to not bend when he lands on it this time, but either way, it's still pretty fun. I've just noticed the colour is out enormously. Excuse that, the colour is actually a lot darker than you're seeing right now. People thinking of downloading the demo or indeed uh, buying the full version of this game, I recommend it. Also, the next bit involves using the stylus, so there's only one way I can do this, and that is to tilt the camera down slightly. That ought to do it, and let's go. Basically, I have to move it in this circular motion. Yes, I know, I'm sounding very old-fashioned and technical here. Basically, I spin this to get full rotations in the swimming. It goes very badly, as I'm sure you can tell. Once again, um, colours very badly out. This is a very bad demonstration, I apologise. I'm losing badly, come on. This isn't a very good <laughs> practical demonstration, I apologise. Um, basically, you spin it in circles and if you get it right, unlike me, then you can swim the backstroke and hopefully you can do a lot better than I'm doing right now. And the screen's just gone down. That's not really a very good score, to be completely honest with you. Anyway, no matter, because there is now the next event, which is going to be out of focus because I've adjusted the position and the camera won't focus on it. Um, what is the next event? Final round, yes, it's the BMXing, which is basically where you uh, press the A button and move the thing forwards and backwards to do jumps. And it's a very difficult game and I've never ever got anything past last. Which kind of sums up the whole thing for me, really. It's very fun, but I'm not very good at it. A bit like Mega Man. Sorry about having to move the 3DS about. You're probably not going to get the best view of this one. But it give, does give you an idea of how difficult it is. Oh, that's not worked. It's okay, though, because we can steer. That was an excellent jump. Come on. Come on. Come on! I'm in third! Nearly! I'm not going to lose at something for once! Hooray! It's very difficult to actually get a perfect jump on this. I think you have to get your landing absolutely pristine. Which is worrying because I'm not very good at this! Sorry. I know this is a terrible view for you to have, but on the plus side, I didn't lose, so, um, yeah, hats off, really. So, in conclusion, then, Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympics demo, it's very fun, but quite hard. Um, so, we're going to focus on the only cartridge-based game I have, Asphalt 3D. We're going to do a jump cut, because this takes a minute to start. So yes, Asphalt 3D. It's basically a racing game, a bit like Ridge Racer 3D and um, Mario Kart 7. Sorry, I couldn't think of another one. 
Um, basically, there's lots of different types of race in this. You've got race, which is a race, amazingly. Ghost, which you try and beat your own personal times. Vigilante, which is where you have to basically ram other cars off the track. And high speed chase does what it says on the tin or the tab. Um, I'm going to go for high speed chase because I fancy doing that. And there's lots of interesting cars in this, but the important thing is, imagine like on Forza 4, if you want to use a car in free play mode, but you don't have it in your career garage, then that's fine, you can just select it. With this, the only cars you can use in free play are ones that you've unlocked in career mode. So particularly in this case, I'm going to go for the KTM Crossbow, simply because I have it unlocked in career mode, and it's a good car. I, well, I think so, anyway. Um, so basically, this is just like every other racing game for every other console you've ever heard of, ever. Um, and it's not bad, actually. I mean, I've played better ones, like Ridge Racer on PSP, and uh, Gran Turismo on PSP. But, I'm going to play this in real life, by the way, because, frankly, I cannot see a damn thing on the um, camera. Another feature of this game is uh, the fact that you've got, even in free play mode, you've got dares, or whatever they're called, challenges, that's it. Um, like, for example, one of the ones like this was don't use nitrous. So, because I forgot about that, I used the nitrous and I failed the challenge. But, either way, it's actually quite a fun game, this. Uh, the music is, well, it's not to my taste. That's about all we can play without getting sued, actually. Um, but yeah, so the, the chase mode's pretty fun. You try and get away from the police, and if you can, then you succeed, basically. Um, and you get lots of money for it, and then you can buy cars, and then you can win races, and then you can be pleased. Um, there's quite a lot of people have criticised this game for being a bit generic and a bit not good. But I don't know what they're on about, really. It's quite an enjoyable game. I mean, like I said, I've played better, like Ridge Racer and Gran Turismo on the PSP. But they are both on the PSP. If you want a 3DS racing game and you can't afford Mario Kart 7, um, then frankly, Asphalt is the better of the two that were launched. Um, that includes, obviously, Ridge Racer 3D. And from what I can tell, that driver renegade isn't up to much. Anyway, back to Asphalt. Um, Yes, it's quite a fun racing game, although I'm going to show something quite important. I don't know if you can see this in this video, but look at the back tyres on the crossbow. They're not actually spinning, it's kind of floating above the road. That's the only real complaint I've had with this game so far. That is quite difficult. Um, but yeah, the crossbow in particular, because you can see the wheels, um, it appears to be floating above the road, not driving on it. Very weird, that. But in other, other way, otherwise, it's a, a very good and enjoyable game, really. So that brings to conclusion the third part of my 3DS review, which um, has covered the Dead or Alive Dimensions demo, the Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympics demo, and the Ashfelt 3D game card. In conclusion, most of the games for the system are excellent, and the demos are a brilliant way to get an insight into what the actual games are like. Join me in part four when I'll be focusing on the pre-installed features.